countdown video before this one starts. I'd just like to thank you all for participating in the poll. Uh, Shut up, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Moplox in the IRL. A lot of you probably didn't expect me to actually use a face cam on this video. I wanted to make it a surprise, so I didn't tell anybody that I was going to do a face cam. This is the Q&A video for reaching 10,000 subscribers like a lot of you have suggested to me to do. So I'm finally doing it. I hope uh, that this is all this right here is up to par with your standards or expectations that you had of what I might have looked like. <laughs> if not, half of you have probably already clicked off the video. I know I'm not the prettiest face in the world, so... Uh, but anyway, if you're still watching, thank you. Um, thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. You're amazing. The growth of the channel these past few weeks has been insane. So I figured I would show you guys my face finally. Let's get into the Q&A, which the first question is from Cool Cool. He says, two questions. Will you ever use face cam? I'm using it right now. Yes, I will. Um, uh, will I ever use it after this? Probably not unless you guys want me to. If that's something you guys want, you're going to have to tell me to do it because... Honestly, other than this, I probably won't use face cam much just because I like keeping it voice and gameplay and vice versa. It, it just makes everything a lot easier for me. But if you guys want me to use face cam, yeah, I'll totally use it. I'll, uh, for those of you that want me to continue doing it, yeah, I'll use it. Number two, what's the best reward you've ever got from a clue scroll? The best reward that I ever got from a clue scroll would have to be a wizard's robes top gold trim. I got that back in the old, old Rootscape, back in maybe like 2005, 2006, and uh, I was so excited. I was like, mom, mom, look at all you I was like 12 or 13 at the time, don't judge. Um, <laughs> but uh, I went and sold it for like 400k and probably got scammed after that later on. Anyway, moving on. The next question comes from Levi B. Period. Got back into Rootscape lately and thinking your videos are really entertaining. Thank you, Levi. Um, Q&A question. How long have you been playing Rootscape? 2004. Favorite minigame? Castle Wars. Uh, RuneScape 07 free to play money making method. I would say, hmm, I would say fishing, man. There's not a lot you can do in free to play anymore because they made use members only because of the bots and everything. So bots kind of ruin that for you. Um, but I would definitely say do some fishing. Maybe do some quests, open up some areas around free to play, and just use your skills to your advantage, man. What would you recommend a newly pay to play player to do in RuneScape 3? A brand new player with no knowledge about the game? I would say do quests. Do as many quests as possible. Learn as much as you can about the game. And that will take you so far. Do the waterfall quest. Get 33 strength and 33 attack, I think, is what it gives you if you have both one. And uh, just continue on there from from doing quests into training your skills, man. That's all you can do. Next question comes from It's True. Sick video, man. Q&A. Would you rather have a vagina on your forehead or a row of dicks on your back like Stegosaurus? Probably the row of dicks on my back is like a Stegosaurus. I really like dinosaurs. The next question comes from Akatri Akatri. I'm really sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, man. I'm seriously, I apologize. The Dane, I'm gonna just call you the Dane. That's pretty badass. I really gotta give it to you, Moat. This is my second time commenting on your videos, and I gotta tell you, they still make me laugh. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Um, I got a question, though. Will you be doing any interactions with your viewers, like streaming, playing games with people, or just hanging out in RuneScape? I actually played Castle Wars and uh, did fun duels with my uh, clan mates a lot. I call all my clan chats my clan mates. Um, it was pretty fun. Uh, streaming, yes, probably in the future when the channel gets more bigger, or mm, pr fairly soon, maybe, if you guys want me to. The biggest problem for me to do that would probably be I wouldn't know what to do in game. I wouldn't know what to do. So if you know what I should do while I stream, post it in the comments. I might make an Iron Man and only use the Iron Man, only play on the Iron Man when I stream because I don't know anything about Iron Man. So you guys would be able to see me progress. So I think it would be fun. Um, but the next question is from Dane Netherland. He says, also, were you high when this... When Oh, were you high when you made this video? You can't prove shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Dane. Next question comes from Cyber Sniper 10 Omega. That's a badass name. Hey, Mode, I'm going to do a playthrough of RS. Should I do old school RuneScape or RS3? You should do whatever you like, man. Do what you enjoy. Because if you enjoy something really, uh, like a high amount of en enjoyity, um, if you really enjoy something, man, that's really going to come out in your videos and it'll be fun for people to watch you. And see you enjoying what you're doing. So definitely do the one that uh, is more fun to you, man. Next question comes from CM Punk. He watches WWE. Um, if you could speak any other language in the world, what would it be? Yo tengo gato gordo, me pendelone corto. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> if you know what I said, I'm sorry. Um, I did Spanish for four or five years. I think it was five years in high school. Uh, but honestly, I would love to learn Germany. I got a couple friends who are actually from there, and they speak it quite often, and it makes me mad because I have no idea what they're saying. Um, but I think it would be really fun to learn German. 
Uh, I think that would be really cool if I ever go to Germany. That way I would know the language. Next question. It's a lot of them. It comes from Prizumi. What's your favorite skill? Definitely hunting. Uh, what's your earliest RuneScape memory? Mm, probably just chilling in Lumbridge, man. Just killing um, freaking men all day long. Trying to get the, uh, <laughs> the freaking enough money to go buy some pots and buckets from the general store that was close by near the castle. And then I would probably go and sell them to other players. Don't hate. <laughs> um... What is the newbiest thing that you can remember yourself doing? Probably chilling there for about 30 minutes in Lumbridge, talking to Hans, telling him that I've come to murder everybody in the castle, and him screaming, help. I did that for literally 30 minutes. I was a evil child. <laughs> How many RuneScape girlfriends have you had? Dude, I've had so many. I had freaking... I used to buy those bitches for one mil each back in Barok. I'm just kidding. So much hate if you're a girl right now. If you're a girl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect. What is your favorite quest? None of them. If I had to pick one man, I would probably pick RFD just because of the requirements. It's crazy. I really like that quest. It was also RuneScape's 100th quest, if you didn't know that. Um, facts with Moat with Facecam. Um, what updates, if any, would cause you to quit old school RuneScape? Probably nothing, man. I probably wouldn't quit RuneScape for any update. I'd probably continue playing because, and that's due to you guys, because you guys are cool like that. And I feel like all you guys are my friends, so. Uh, let's see, next question. This comes from Lead, Long Dick of the Law, LOL, you and Bread seem to say this a lot. Yeah, we do. Um, Q&A, what is your favorite RuneScape memory? Hmm, probably when I very first ever started branching out. Probably when I went to Drainer, places like that. I went to Drainer, and then I went back to Lumbridge, so I made sure that I wouldn't get lost. And then I went to uh, Varrock, where I got super overwhelmed because there were so many players there because I decided to go to the most crowded world ever before I logged on. It was good times, and maybe when Zia comes out, we'll have something to explore again and be noobs at. I can't wait for it. Silent Divide. Hey, love the vids. What's 9 plus 10? 21. Uh, next question comes from Supersonic. Great vid as always, most. Thank you, man. Uh, was just wondering for the Q&A, what do you do IRL? Do you go to school, study at a university, have a job, etc.? Well, that's kind of tough to answer because, one, I was too bad in high school to go to uh, college. So, don't be like Moat Plucks, though. School is very important. Um... What do I do IRL right now? YouTube. And the reason because of that is if you look on Social Blade, I don't mind talking about this because I feel like I can be honest with you guys. Those statistics on there of how much money I make is pretty accurate, but I do it for the fun of it, not the money. Um, but seriously though, uh, I don't have an actual job right now because I still live at home with my mom. Uh, I don't know where my dad is. I've never met him before. And I have a brother who has Down Syndrome. He's uh, 24 years old. His name is Michael. And I take care of him. So, um, I help my mom take care of him because she works. She's a single parent. She has to work. And we only have one vehicle. Money's tight around here. So, I got to hold down the house. So, that's why I haven't really left yet. But I eventually do plan on joining the military. Um, I did finish high school, though. I'm not that big of a fuck-up. <laughs> um, also, what caused you to start making videos recently? I remember you mentioned you started in 0405. So, what made you start making vids right now? Honestly, it wasn't any RuneScape-related person it was actually a guy called danger dolan and i'll put his link to his channel down in the description he does these countdowns that are really sick about real life shit like 10 top 10 most mysterious places in the world or top 10 most creepiest things a child has said it's actually really interesting some of the shit that he says a lot of players have actually noticed that uh my countdown videos are actually modeled after his countdown videos and some people have come up to me and they thought that that was really cool that they figured it out so if you haven't figured it out Danger Dolan is my inspiration. <laughs> These next questions comes from Dean Razor. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Oklahoma, man. That's why I got this on. As you can see around my room, I got Oklahoma shit plastered everywhere on the walls. Do you have any pets? Yes, I actually have two. Let me see if you can see them. They're right behind me. I got two kitties. I got one big fat one, and I got one small one. The small one that you guys heard in one of the what I've been doing videos was actually the one that uh, kind of blew into the mic there. <laughs> We're also uh, planning on getting a golden retriever soon, so if you guys want me to post a video when we get this golden retriever of how cute she's going to be, we're going to be getting her when she's about 8-9 weeks old. Uh, we still haven't thought of a name yet, although I like the name Delilah. I really like that name. Um, but if you guys want me to post any videos with me and her on it, me trying to train her or something like that, let me know, because that would be something I would really be interested in. What did you always want to be growing up? I actually always wanted to be a fireman. A couple of you know that I want to join the military. Uh, but I didn't always want to join the military. I've always wanted to be a fireman growing up right until I graduated until I was a senior in high school. In fact, I was even enrolled, enrolled in a technology center here in Oklahoma. 
and I was about to do the firefighting EMT course that they had there, but I just decided to back out of it at the last minute because I decided that this was not really what I wanted to do with my life. I live in a military family. All my family's in the military. We live uh, right next to a military base, and it's just something that I really want to do because of my family and for myself. I want to be able to travel around the world and do some awesome stuff. What was your worst injury? Probably this. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a scar right there. That's is it. That's not it. I don't know what that is. That's been there my whole life. But there's a scar right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. When I raise my eyebrow, you might be able to see it. But there's a scar right there. I cracked my head open and I needed stitches. Because uh, me and my brother were playing a long time ago when we were kids and we were being dumb. <laughs> uh, did you finish school? Yes, I finished high school. What car do you die? Ford Fusion. Uh, what is your RuneScape password and bank pin? Uh, I almost walked right into that one. <laughs> uh, what do you do for work? I work at a racetrack sometimes in the summertime. Why don't you want the GE from Enjoy It Talks? I don't want the GE because I feel like it's a step in the wrong direction and I feel like HD graphics are going to be the next to pull pretty much for old school RuneScape. And if that happens, I'll probably quit. Jack W, age, college. I've already mentioned the college thing, but age? Hmm. Should I tell you guys? Should I tell you? How old do you think I am? Just spit out a number. Any number. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually uh, 20 years old. I'll be 21 in August. I can't wait for that, actually. You're all invited. Let's all get drunk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hakan, ha Hakan, Leon. I'm really super sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, man. Q&A, why don't you play RuneScape 3? For a number of reasons. OSRS and RuneScape 3 are pretty much two different game types to me. For example, I could play some Call of Duty over here, and I, then I could stop playing Call of Duty, go to Battlefield. Even though it's a first-person shooter, and they're very similar... It's still two totally different games, and I like Battlefield more because I've been playing Battlefield from the early, earliest game uh, versions of it, like Battlefield 2. I really like Battlefield 2, even though the graphics are shitty. But uh, it's just playing two totally different games to me, man, and I prefer OSRS. It's what I know, it's what I like, and that's why, pretty much. Next question, Jared Barry. He says, when was the first time you heard of slash played RuneScape? I actually started playing in 2004, again. Um, the first time I heard of it was actually, I think it was from one of my friends named Josh a long time ago when we were kids, maybe, I, he used to live two doors down from me, and, uh, he showed me what it was actually, and from that day on, man, I was hooked. This one comes from Explosive Baggins, that reminds me of Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit. Damn mode, you're gaining subscribers faster than dot 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 something really fast. I see what you did there. Um, another great vid is always Q&A question, why is your name Moat Plucks? My name is actually Moat Plucks because of when 2006 when skill capes were released and they were released and it was widely known that they had emotes and a lot of high level players at first who automatically got them because they already had 99s actually wouldn't do the emotes for people just because they wanted to be stubborn about it and show off their capes. But a lot of noobs used to follow them around who wanted to see the emotes so desperately and they would say Moat Plucks meaning emote please. So that's where I got my name from man it always just stuck with me so. Next question from Malik's message. I have a question. Who is we? Many thanks. We is me and you guys. Um, you guys are the lifeline of this channel. And uh, the only reason why I keep making these videos is because you guys love interacting with me so much and all the support and everything. I, it really pisses me off whenever YouTubers don't interact with their viewers. I mean, granted, some of them can't, but I try to reply to every single comment, and it's going to be that way until the day I stop doing YouTube. I'm still going to try to reply to everybody's comment out there. And I think it's stupid if you make videos, but don't interact with the people that give your channel life. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what YouTube's all about. But uh, that's who we is. When I say we, like I'm saying, we just got 10,000 subscribers. I'm talking about me and you guys. This is our channel. It's not just my channel. It's our channel because you guys give it life. So, drop my phone. <laughs> you guys give it life. And I owe so much to you guys because of that. Next question comes from Lucky Crypto. He says... Q&A question, with the recent polls that have come out, do you believe the GE will make the game too easy, forcing others to quit? Do I think it will make the game too easy? No, I think the game will be still maybe probably the same as it always has been. I mean, buying and selling shit will be a lot easier. Yes, it'll be more convenient that there will be a GE if that's what you're into. Will it force people to quit? Yes, probably. I know a couple of people, some of my friends that said that they'll probably end up quitting when the GE comes out, so that's, that's pretty sad, but it's... What can you do? Gateboarding Fishes asks, What gave you the inspiration to make these videos? Oh, that hurts. I've been sitting crisscross too long. 
uh, the inspiration that gave me, or the person that inspired me to make videos was Danger Dolan, as I said earlier. Mr. Killed RS asks, question for the Q&A. What is your favorite RuneScape moment and why? Wow, that's actually a hard one. Um, my favorite RuneScape moment would probably be when I got full rune for the first time ever. After I did Dragon Slayer, I immediately, I had saved up enough money uh, to buy full rune. Now, I'm talking, this is the first time I've ever done Dragon Slayer. The first time I ever did really anything that made me feel super good at the game. I was level 49, I remember. I was level 49 and I had full rune. And that was just, that was the most fun I've ever had in my childhood, man. That was some good times. Real life orange ass question, can I have 10 mil? <sighs> give me, give me a week. And, uh, anything's possible. As long as you share it with everybody in the comments section. Next question comes from Zeitgeist33. Q&A question. What is the strangest thing you've witnessed another player doing in RuneScape? <laughs> I actually found two players one time when I very first started in the back of Lumbridge Castle. Um, you guys know that one goblin emote where you basically like go to the sky and you like go up and down or whatever? Well basically I saw two people, it was a male and a female, and they were both doing that to each other over and over, pretty much sexting in the game. That was the most awkward thing ever. Wish I made videos back then. I would have filmed it and shamed them all. <laughs> Miles Logan 4 asks, What are your goals on old school? Right now, short term, the goal is all 80 plus stats. And I'm getting pretty close. Last time I checked, I was at 1,810 total. And I'm already 70 plus everything. But uh, I want to get to 80 plus everything soon. Long term goals, YouTube. Keep doing YouTube with you guys and have you guys keep interacting. Keep interacting with you guys back and everything. And to also get max, get all 99 stats eventually, even though that's going to take a long time. But I'm glad that you guys will be here on the journey. I hope you will be. So, Sun Shroom asks, I have a question in capitalization letters. Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle? Charmander? I would say, yeah, yeah, I would say Charmander. His evolve is pretty amazing, and also he's made of fire on the inside. I really like the fire ones. Casey Jones says, spit or swallow. Wow, thank you, man. I actually, I like that because you've given me enough credit that says basically that I have the skills enough to actually get it going to where I would be put in the position to be able to either spit or swallow. So I, that's, a, that's a compliment. I can tell that's a compliment. Thank you, Casey Jones. Andrew Sip says, Hello, I have some questions. One, how did you create your nickname and was it a long time ago? It was a very long time ago. I created Moat Plugs in 2006. However, my first account was made in 2004. Uh, number two, how did you get the idea to make a top 10 something? From Danger Dolan, if you're wondering how it all started. But how do I... Uh, start out making the videos on the subject or something i just think about it i just think what would be fun or i read you guys suggestions you guys suggestions actually helps this channel out a lot i mean i have ideas that i want to use but um i look through you guys' suggestions and i pick the most funnest one that i put them into a poll and that's what the next countdown is number three where are you from united states oklahoma man explosive peanut leet speak <laughs> says great job with the video once again mo keep up the great work i will um, he says, question, what got you to start making YouTube videos? Danger Dolan. Dang, you guys asked the same thing. I wish I could, I want to answer all you guys, but I don't want to keep repeating myself because I know a lot of everybody is going to get bored. Bonesaw Chris says, do you smoke marijuana? Nice vids. I used to, actually, I used to, but now I just smoke cigarettes and I'm actually trying to quit. It's a very bad habit. If you're thinking of smoking marijuana or cigarettes, don't do it. Trust me, you're better off. You will thank your lungs later. Because I seriously do feel it. CM Punk once again also says, Who's your favorite porn star? Bay Reagan. I love red hair. <laughs> Dean Razor once again says, Q&A, do you have any siblings? Yes, I actually have a brother who has Down syndrome. He's 24 years old. And I have a 19-year-old sister named Christy. MLTS once again says, Will you make a Twitter and follow me? Mm, if you guys want me to make a Twitter, post it in the comment section. I guess I can make a Twitter if you guys want to follow me. It would come in handy so I could update you guys about stuff that's going to be going down for the countdown videos and such. 
Uh, like, if there's ever not gonna be a video up someday, I can tell you guys that way. I guess if you guys want me to, I could make one. Eric Svensson. He says, what recording and editing program do you use? I use Camtasia 8.4.2, I think it is right now. It was recently just updated. And it's $299, but it's very worth it. There's a screen capture within the actual program that captures the live gameplay quality of uh, gaming and you get amazing FPS it's, even if you're recording it's a very good program to have if you want to start doing YouTube I highly recommend it um, for using uh, for recording my voice I actually use my phone I use a recorder on the phone so Dun Young says awesome video as for my question what is your favorite role in the barbarian assault minigame that's a really good question actually I like collector because all you had to do was just collect a bunch of eggs and then just put them into the thing and then fire them at the um, monsters. That is seriously a really good question. I really like that question. Thank you for asking that. I'm Whitney. Says, oh, I wanted to kill the bots with you and become Pima. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Whitney. I thought that was a question. We'll kill bots. I promise. The King 991 says, how old are you? 20. When you started YouTube, I started on March 3rd, 2014, and did you aim to get so many subs? Believe it or not, uh, these videos that you guys are seeing actually weren't my first videos. I started making progress videos, but to make a good progress video, I literally had to play like like 10 to 15 hours a day to be even to be able to make uh, progress videos. But I still have all my pictures and stuff uh, from when I was making progress videos, but I just lost interest in it. Took them all down. Started making countdown videos, which is what I really enjoyed, and the rest is history, man. Um, did I aim to... Did I aim to get so many subs? No, I actually... When I hit a 1,000, I was like, holy shit. Uh, but now that we're at 10,000, that's just insane. I never expected to get that. I, I kept thinking for the longest time, I was like, 5,000. 5,000 is the goal. I'm going to get 5,000, and it's going to be awesome. But then... A couple days passed and we're already at like seven eight thousand and then it's just crazy man no I didn't expect to get this many subscribers Maya T she says I think it's a she I hope you're a she or he I, I, I really hope that I'm not offending you <laughs> great video as usual I have some questions for your Q&A how did you come up with your runescape name I mentioned that earlier what do you like to do outside of runescape outside of runescape I like to do anything man I like going to the movies I recently just went to the movies and watched uh, the most recent Hobbit movie that came out, and I was really sad. No spoilers! I'm not gonna spoil anything, I promise. But yeah, man, I like going out to the movies, I like drinking with my friends, I like, uh, just playing RuneScape, mm, just chilling, man. Just, uh, having friends come over and just do whatever we want to do. Go drive around, don't have to even be doing anything, just hanging out, it's nice. River Ramirez says, have you ever tried playing a RuneScape private server? Yes, I have actually, uh, because I was just curious to see what all was goes into a private server. And uh, some of the stuff that you could do on those is pretty fun. Uh, but ultimately, I like RuneScape, the real RuneScape, way better. Cool Cody Productions asks, How old are you and what are three unique facts about yourself? Huh. Thanks for being in the RS community. We need a lot more people like you. Thank you, Cody. I really appreciate that. Three facts about myself. Three unique facts. Um, I'm inquisitive. Uh, not just about, uh, you know, people or RuneScape or anything, but I'm inquisitive about life. I'm very philosophical, I guess would be the word. I really like philosophizing. Philosophizing? Is that a verb? Is that a word? I don't know. I really like looking past what you see. If that makes any sense. I really like, uh, like, for example, if I look at something, like right now, I'm looking at a treadmill. Cause I've got a treadmill in my room. I'm looking at a treadmill. When I look at that, I see the bolts of it. I see what puts it together, what makes it run, the electricity, the types of wiring in it. I like to really think about stuff like that. And uh, I don't know if other people do that or if I'm just weird. But I like really trying to look at things. Um... I don't know if that was one or two facts. I don't know. I'm going to say it was two because that was pretty long. Third fact, um, I don't care who you are. I don't care what race you are. I don't care where you come from. I'll talk to you like you're the last person on this planet, man. 
And that's just because uh, I really like people. I like getting to know people. I like putting myself out there on the internet like this. And I like getting to know what you guys are really all about as human beings. Because I know you're all not just numbers or statistics. You guys are somewhere out there in the world just like I am right now. Uh, making this video at 3.49 a.m. in the morning. So it's really fun to, you know, get to know people. And I'm really social. So, He-Man... <laughs> man who is your favorite runescape youtuber my favorite runescape youtuber honestly i don't know if i have one i mean they're all really good but honestly if i had to pick one i would probably pick probably chris archie i mean he doesn't really post that many videos anymore but i like chris archie back in the days when he used to do his pk commentaries especially the old school ones those were a lot of fun to watch um and I wish that he still did them. At Hygus Matthias, I hope I said that right, says, Questions. What's your real name? Where are you from? How old are you? What did you do? Study? How long have you been playing RuneScape? Burr, 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 burr. And how are you gaining this many subs? I don't know. I don't know. I think I answered all those other ones, though. Arusa says, Hey, Emote. Thanks for the video. And look forward to the 10k sub video. Thank you, man. And, well, as a suggestion, maybe you could tell us a little about your life growing up. Maybe sort of like one of them draw to life. Oh, okay, you're talking about the draw my life videos? Maybe, maybe not, but a little bit about my life. Um, I never knew who my dad was growing up. And my mom took care of all of us as kids, and I still live at home right now. Um, I didn't have a dad growing up as most of my friends and kids do. All my friends have moved out of the house. All my friends have moved on. I didn't have that luxury growing up and it was pretty tough because my brother has Down syndrome. He's a special needs child and even though he's 24 years old, he's literally on the mentality of a 5 year old, a toddler, so I take care of my family. And because we didn't have a dad growing up, I'm the man of the house now, you know what I mean? If anybody comes through our door, I'm gonna shoot him, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm the protector of this family at the moment and that's why I haven't really gotten out into the world. A lot of my friends don't understand that because... They've had dads growing up and to protect their families and such, but I gotta stay with my family right now because we didn't have most of the luxuries that a lot of people had growing up. So I guess that's a little bit about my life for you. Hey Moplox, how many channels have you had? I remember you staking videos and stuff. PlayStation nerd asked this. Yeah, I used to post staking videos. Um, that was a long time ago. Wow, you must be really old to remember those. Uh, I posted those almost a year ago. <laughs> Um, Peyton M says, would you be willing to play with your subscribers? Say dot 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 like me? Of course, man. Coming to the clan chat, anything is possible. So rigged, so rigged, says, more plucks, please suck my tits. If you do it first, I promise I will. Yoki Choke Walterbeek, I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, man. Q&A1, do you have a Twitch? I do not. Yes, are you streaming often? No, will you ever make one? No, I don't have one. Will I ever make one? Yes. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have pets. Where are you from? Yes, I've already answered that. What is your favorite gear setup? Eh, it depends on what I'm fighting. Like melee magic or some something. Uh, for range, I use void for melee. I usually just use torso, dragon legs, dragon boots, and yeah, these not helm. And mm, fire cape, maybe, if I don't want to risk it. Um, depends on what I'm fighting. So much love from the Netherlands. You're growing so fast. Thank you, man. Much love from the U.S. Mr. Man Goat, <laughs> if you reach 100k subs, what would you hope for the future, video-wise and IRL? Hmm. For the future, video-wise, I'll still keep making these videos, guys. If that's what you guys like and that's why people keep subscribing, no matter what, I'm gonna try my best, my damnedest, not to run out of ideas for that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, IRL, I would probably give a big portion of, uh, earnings and stuff that I get from this. Um, not to say that I do it just for that, but I would probably give a lot to it to my mom. She really deserves it. Thank you guys for watching this Q&A video. I'm known off the prettiest face to look at and sit through all that, so if you sat through all that, thank you. Sorry that this video was kind of long. I thought it would be a little bit more fun to make this video longer since it was a face cam video and plus you probably you blah, 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 blah. it might be cool to make this video a little bit longer because you guys probably won't be seeing much of my face again after this video this is the only face cam video I'm probably gonna do unless you guys want more of it 
But uh, other than that, thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. Let's keep going. Let's see how high we can get within the RuneScape community and remind Jagex of what their game used to be before it turned into RuneScape 3. Um, then we'll invade a small country, as I said before. Um, but yeah, thank you guys once again. I'll talk to you guys later.